So in this video, we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp message to new lead in HubSpot CRM. Now suppose guys, you are using HubSpot CRM to manage all the leads and contacts of your business. And you want that whenever a new lead is added in your HubSpot CRM, you want to send them a WhatsApp message, a WhatsApp notification instantly just to know them. So let me tell you guys, you can completely automate the process of sending WhatsApp message to your new leads. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new lead or creating a new lead in HubSpot CRM. An action will be sending a WhatsApp message to those new leads using Interact. So Interact is one of the official API services, business API services of WhatsApp. So guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as HubSpot to interact. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our HubSpot account with Public Connect so that every time a new lead is created, a new form is submit or a new contact is created in a HubSpot account, automatically the details of that new lead should be received inside Public Connect workflow. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send those details to Interact and using Interact, which is an API service of WhatsApp, we are going to send a WhatsApp message, a welcome message to the user or the, to the lead, which we have just now generated in HubSpot. So let's see how it is done, guys. It's very simple. Now here in Trigger window, in Choose App, search for HubSpot. Just select it. And in Trigger event from the drop down, select the Trigger event as New Form Submission. So here guys, in this video, I am taking an example of HubSpot form which I have created. So using HubSpot, I have created this form and this is a lead generation form which I have added or shared with the user. And using this form, I am getting new leads. So what we want, we want the submission, the response of this form of the new lead which we are generating using the form inside Public Connect. So that is why we have selected trigger event as new form submission. Instead of this, if you want, you can select new contact added as a trigger event as well. In that case, whenever a new contact will be added in your HubSpot CRM account, automatically the details of that new contact will be received inside Public Connect. So here guys, in this new form submission trigger, we have received a webhook URL by Public Connect. And using this webhook URL, we are going to connect this form which we have created in HubSpot with Public Connect workflow. So here guys, how it is done, you just have to follow the help text given below over here. Copy this webhook URL from here and then just go to your HubSpot account. After reaching to your HubSpot account, go to Automations and click on Workflows. After coming to this Workflows page, on the right side, you have an option of Create Workflow. Click on it and click on From Scratch. Then here guys, it is asking us, how do you want this workflow to start? So select a blank workflow and click on this next button over here. Now you can see that just now we have created this workflow and we have to set up a trigger for this particular workflow in HubSpot. Click on this setup trigger button and here guys from filter type, we have to select form submission as the filter type. Just select it and then here in form, select any form submission. Now, if you want to get the response or if you want to send WhatsApp message to the response of some particular forms, like if you have created multiple forms in HubSpot, but you want to send WhatsApp message to the lead generate from particular form, here you can see that particular form as well. You just have to select that form over here. Right now, I'm just selecting any form submission. Click on apply filter and click on save. So just now we have created this trigger. Now click on this plus button and here in action guys, on the right side, you can see an option named as send a webhook just select this and then here in method from the drop down select post then guys here it is asking us for the webhook url and in this section right now we have to paste the same webhook url which we have copied from public connect just copy it from here go to hubspot and paste it over here and after pasting this webhook url click on save 
So just now we have added this webhook URL in this workflow in our HubSpot account. Now just click on this review and publish button. And here the first thing it asks us, these contacts already meet the trigger criteria. Do you want to enroll them when this workflow turns on? So whenever we are going to turn on this workflow in our HubSpot account, it is asking us that the existing contacts which are already created in HubSpot, do you want to send the data of those existing contacts as well to Pavli Connect? But we don't want to do this. So here we are going to select no, only enroll contact who meet the trigger criteria after turning the workflow on. By selecting this option, we are telling HubSpot that after creating this workflow, after setting up this automation, when the next time a new contact, a new lead, a new form submission will be received on HubSpot, only that data will be sent, the old data will not be sent to Pavli Connect. Now just click on this turn on button and now we will see this workflow is now turned on, it is created in our HubSpot account. So here guys in Pavli Connect you can see now it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect workflow is waiting to get some response, some data of a new lead from HubSpot. So after setting up this workflow, we are going to create a test lead, a dummy lead. So this is the form which I have created in HubSpot. Let's enter the details of a dummy user in this form. For example, we are entering a name as demo user. This is the name. This is the email address. Okay. And just a second. And this is the mobile number. So guys, the whatever mobile number, the customer, the lead is going to enter in this lead generation form of HubSpot. On the same number, we are going to send a WhatsApp message using this automation. So just click on this submit button and then it is showing us thanks for submitting the form. So just now we have received a new lead, a new form submission in the HubSpot form. Now we will get back to Public Connect. And yes, guys, here in Public Connect, you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you will see the details of the same lead which we have just now created. So we will scroll down to this response. And here you can see the same mobile number of the customer, which we have just now entered while submitting the form. Then we will scroll down further and you will see some other details as well. Here, as you can see, here, this is the last name user. Then we will scroll down further and we will see other details like the first name and email address too. So just scroll down, let's search for it. Okay, so here you can see the first name of the user and we will scroll down further and you can see the email address as well. So all the data of form submission, the form response of a new lead, which we have just now added in our HubSpot CRM, we can see the details of all of those data, all of those leads inside Pavli Connect. Now after this, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, using Interact, we want to send a WhatsApp message to this new lead. Now to do so, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose App, search for Interact. Just select it. And then in Action Event from the dropdown, select the Action Event as Send WhatsApp Template Message. Click on Connect, and select Add New Connection. So here guys, we have to connect our Interact account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the secret key of our Interact account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get this in secret key. Now to get it, just go to your Interact account and from the left sidebar, just click on this settings option and go to settings. After coming to the settings page, click on this developer settings option. And here at this page, you can see the secret key of your Interact account. So we just have to copy the secret key from here, go to public connect and paste it over here and then just click on save and as we click on save we will see our interact account will get connected with Pavli connect after making this connection the first thing it asks us is the country code phone number or the full phone number now here guys in these fields we have to enter the whatsapp number the mobile number of the user to whom we want to send the whatsapp message so here if we have two options Either we can enter the country code with the plus sign and the phone number, the 10 digits mobile number in two different fields. Or instead of that, we can completely enter the full phone number with the country code and the plus sign of the user in this full phone number field. So if you have the complete phone number, you can use this field. Or if you don't have the complete phone number with the country code, you can actually enter or map the phone number of the user in this field of phone number and enter the country code in this field of country code in separate responses. You either have to do one of them. So here we have the full phone number of the user which we have received from HubSpot responses from forms. So just click here 
and from the drop down from HubSpot responses of a new lead of a new form submission, select the response of phone number. Here it is, phone number, just select it and map it over here. After entering the phone number, the next thing it asks us is template code name. Now to send the WhatsApp messages using Interact, first what we have to do, we have to create a template message in our Interact account. And then after that, after creating the template and getting it approved, you can use this template to send WhatsApp message to your new leads. So here we have to enter the template code name that using which template from our Interact account, we want to send the WhatsApp message in this automation. So let's see how you can get this template code name. So we will just go to our Interact account and here you can see that a list of all the templates which I have created in my Interact account here in this template section. Now just open the template using which you want to send the WhatsApp message in this automation. So this is the template named as new lead. And after opening the template here in the URL section, you can see the template code name. So here after template slash and before slash view, you can see the template code name of this particular template from your Interact account. Just copy this code name from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. After pasting the template code name, it is asking us for the language code. So right now here you will see I have created this template in only one language that is English. So here using which language code or which language you want to send the message, you just have to enter it over here. So small en is the language code for English, we are, so we have entered it over here. Either you can click on this link in the help text and you can see a list of all the language which are supported. Now after this, here in the next field, it is asking us header value. So then the template which we have created in interact of the message, here you can see that we also have an option to add some kind of headers. And if you add some headers like some images, videos or documents, you have an option to enter the URLs or the links of the header files or the image or the video which you want to send with the WhatsApp message. So right now in this template which I have created, I am not sending or adding any kind of header files. But if you want, you can select the header files as well. Like for example, you can select an image as the header file and what image you want to send to the user, to the customer, to the lead with the WhatsApp message. You just have to enter the URL, the link of that particular image or video in this header value section. So right now we can just ignore it because we haven't added any header in our template message. Then it is asking us body variable values. So here guys, in the body of the WhatsApp message, you will see I have added some numbers in double curly braces. Like here you can see after hello, we have one and here you can see two. So guys, you must be thinking what are these numbers? So these numbers are basically some variables, some dynamic text. So after hello, I wanted to mention the name of the lead which we have just now generated or added in HubSpot to be sent to the user, to the lead to whom we are sending the WhatsApp message. So the name of the lead will be keep on changing for every new message which we send. So here guys, it is basically a dynamic text, a variable. And to add these kind of dynamic text in our message, we add this kind of variables. We add numbers in double curly braces. And what is the text which we want to put in place of these dynamic text in this place of these variables? We can enter that text in this body variable value field. So here we have two variables now in, vari in variable one. We wanted to mention the name of the lead. And in variable two, we wanted to mention the name of our organization who is sending the message. So here one by one by adding the commas, you can actually enter the variable values. Like just click here. So we have received the name of the lead from our HubSpot responses. So these were the responses and out of all of these, we have received a response of first name of the lead that was demo. So guys from these that responses of the user, what we are going to do, we will be just mapping that data, mapping that response of first name over here in this body variable field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from HubSpot. Out of all of these responses, select the response of name. For example, this was the name, first name version value, first name value and select this response as map it over here. Then after that, we have added another variable, the second variable where we wanted to mention the name of our organization, the sender's name. So to map the or enter the data of second variable in this same field of body variable value, just add a comma and then enter the text which you want to add in place of variable two. For example, I want to mention the name as Pavli. So here in place of variable two, the message which we will, we will be sending, Pavli will be added. 
then it is asking us position of CTA button. So in this template, we haven't added any kind of call to action buttons. That's why we can not con configure it over here. But if you want, you can add some call to action buttons like you can redirect the user on your website or you can enter some message and then you can actually select the position of that button as well. And in the next field, it is asking us value of variable in dynamic URL. So here guys, in this same button, you can actually add some kind of dynamic URLs as well. And if you do so, what will be the dynamic URL? What will be the variable in that URL? You have to enter that variable over here in this field. So because we haven't added, added any kind of dynamic URL in this template, so we can just ignore these fields for now. And then just click on save and send test request button. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the WhatsApp message is been sent to the same lead whose number we have added in the lead form, which we have submitted just now. It means the same lead which we have just now added in HubSpot CRM. So let's check it. We will go to the WhatsApp account of the same number. And yes, guys, here you can see that a new message, the same template message which we have created in Interact has been sent to the users. This message says hello demo means the same name of the lead which was just generated which we have just now added in HubSpot. Then this message says thank you for reaching out to us. We are excited to hear from you and learn more about how we can help you. Our team will be in touch with you shortly to schedule a call and discuss your needs in future details. Please let us know if you have any questions or concern in the meantime. Regards Pabli team. So here in this template, we have added two variables. The first one was the name of the customer and second one is the name of the team. And here you can see that the same text which we have added in Pabli Connect are now mentioned in the message which we have sent to the new lead which was added in HubSpot. So guys, now we can see that the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new lead will be added in HubSpot CRM, whenever a new form submission of a lead form will be received on HubSpot, automatically, instantly, a WhatsApp message will be sent to the same lead from Interact. Now guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. So one second, we will go to this form which we have created and this time we are going to make a new submission. For example, test customer. This is the name then this is the email address. And let's enter the C mobile number once again and check this automation workflow. So after entering the details, click on submit. So just now we have submitted the form and a new lead is been generated. A new lead is been added in HubSpot. And we will see within seconds, a WhatsApp message will be sent to the same number which we have entered in the form. And yes guys, here you can see that just now a new message is been received on the same number which we have added in the HubSpot form which the lead has entered over here. And in this same message, you can see after hello, we have the same name of the lead that is test. And we have the same template message, which we have created in interact and same team name. Now this means the automation workflow, which we have created is working perfectly fine. And guys, we have tested this automation in real time as well. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.